Hi folks, Dr. Ed Beyer. Today I'm going to talk about something that I hear a lot uh, as patients come into my clinic complaining of thyroid disorders. They have this merry-go-round with their endocrinologist or their internist. You know, they're adjusting their Synthroid, their Levothyroxine, and they're not feeling well, and it's just, just, it's just maddening and madness, okay? And I want, to, I want to go over why many of you suffer from what I call the endocrinologist merry-go-round, okay? Number one, many are not up on the current scientific literature. We have learned so much about thyroid disorders in the last five to ten years. I just read a study, and I can give you a copy of that study, that shows that on average it takes doctors 17 years before we something shows up in the scientific literature until they incorporate it into their practice. That certainly isn't true in our clinic, but on average, that's how many years it takes. So they're not up on the current literature. Number two, many are only using TSH as the main marker. Folks, TSH is not a thyroid hormone. It's a brain hormone that is, is meant to stimulate your thyroid to make more thyroid hormone, T4 and T3, mostly T4. And so there are so many things that can go wrong with the thyroid away from TSH. In fact, a lot of you have a normal TSH, but you have low thyroid hormone. So they got to look, and that, that's number three. They're not running all the markers. We run nine markers on, our, and on every patient that comes to us. That's on the first blood test. There are so many ways the thyroid can go wrong. There's dozens of ways, and you have to have all the information to figure it out. And so many of them, because they're behind in the literature, don't even know about this. So they don't run enough markers. The last reason is they're comparing you to lab ranges. You have to understand that the way a lab determines a range is they're going to take the average low and the average high of whomever's been in that lab for the last year. So if they're looking at TSH as the sole marker or maybe T4, they're going to take the average low of whoever's been in that lab and the average high for TSH or T4 uh, in the last year. Well, what kind of people go to labs? Sick or healthy? Mostly sick people. So they're comparing you to sick people. You need to understand that. This is why there's 27 million people, mostly females, that have underactive thyroid in this country, and half of you aren't even diagnosed. It's be, and one, this is one of the reasons right here. It's frustrating, I know, but you need to go to someone that really understands this. I'm Dr. Ed Beyer. I hope that helps. Have a great day.